Hello. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to What the Bell, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today's going to be a little uh, special impromptu thing that Heather asked me to do. She wanted me to shoot a in the life of of what I do throughout a daily basis. And we're so excited that you joined us. She thought it would be exciting. I didn't really think it was going to be that exciting because I work most of the day. But she wanted me to go ahead and shoot it anyways. I just I appreciate you guys for coming on the channel and for joining us. And if you'll click that subscribe button and like the video with a thumbs up, we would love that. We appreciate you guys helping us grow the channel. So without further ado, here is a little glimpse of what I do on a daily basis. All right, it's 4.50 in the morning. Got up about 4.30, getting ready to head to the gym. So just to give you guys an idea of just how early it is as I'm driving you can see how dark it is outside any kind of light coming through is going to be from the street lights the nice thing about living close to this 24 is it only takes me about five or six minutes to get here I'm actually getting ready to walk into the door right now <laughs> So by the time I finish my workout, it's about <clears throat> 5.45 right now. So close to an hour from the time that I leave my house to the time that I'm coming, going back to the house. So uh, I did, I don't know, about a five, six minute warm up doing some kettlebell swings. Uh, and then I got into the trapdoor deadlift. I did three sets of those working up to an eight rep max, which is roughly about 95 pounds maybe a hundred, I could have probably done five more. And in between the sets of those, I did uh, pull-ups. 
and then I did three sets of hanging knee raises after that uh, to work the core and then I did 30 cal row which basically means you're burning 30 calories on that row machine so that's what that was the last part and then I always stretch uh, afterwards foam roll is one of the the best things I've ever discovered years and years ago I foam roll daily I actually bring a foam roller with me to work so now we're on our way home and I'm gonna shower up and get ready for work. Okay, so as you can tell, it's a lot lighter outside. I am leaving for work. It's a little bit later than I normally leave. Um, just took me forever to get ready and Heather was up so we were talking a little bit, but uh, I'm headed to work now, which is the least exciting part of my day. Yay! Alright, so I am at work now. That didn't take a super long time. Um, normally on my way to work, I like to listen to the Bible, uh, especially because I'm trying to memorize verses. So right now I'm working on Ephesians 3.20. Now to him who is able to do above and beyond all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. Ephesians 3.20. So that's uh, the Christian Standard Version, Christian Standard Bible. That's the, the version of the Bible that I like to read. I uh, That's what my real Bible is, my physical Bible, and then that's the, uh, the one that I like to use on the Bible app as well. So I'm also working on Romans 8.28, which is, we know that all things work together for the good of those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. Uh, Ephesians 3.20 and Romans 8.28 happen to be some of my favorite verses in the entire Bible. So uh, I'm, I'm going to work on uh, Philippians 4.6 uh, once I feel like I have Ephesians down. Uh, it sounded good then, but it doesn't mean that later on today I won't be like... Uh... So I like to listen to the Word of God on my way to work. Uh, mainly because I have this thing called ROAD RAGE! Uh, I do have a little bit of road rage. It's gotten a lot better over the years. Um, years, what am I saying? It's gotten a lot better over the last couple months, especially because I've been diving into the word and, uh, I like to listen to sermons. I like to listen to the Bible when I'm driving. Uh, it distracts me from the interesting drivers on the road. So, uh, and it keeps me from chasing somebody down because they cut me off because I will do that um, so I'm getting ready to go into work I'm going to make my bulletproof coffee and then I'll get back to you guys in a little bit bye Leftovers. This body was built on leftovers. Mm. Look at that. Cleaned out that chicken. Demolished that avocado. I could probably finish off that ranch. But I'm ready to dive in. Well, I am fighting through this Dallas traffic. And if you guys know anything, Dallas traffic sucks. Uh... It's terrible, especially if it's raining out. But I am meeting a uh, an admissions advisor guy who actually uh, works for 
Southern Baptist uh, Seminary College, who I reached out to a couple months ago because I'm trying to go back to school and get my uh, theology and ministry and uh, all that other good stuff underneath my belt because um, I don't come from a background where I've done a lot of that stuff. So I should be there in the next, hopefully, 15 minutes or so, but I'm excited. We're, uh, we're meeting at Starbucks and just going to kind of maybe talk about an opportunity for me to go to that school. So wish me luck. Well, that went really well. Actually, it went really well. I got about a 36, 37 minute drive home. There's still a little bit of traffic, but that's what happens when it rains just a smidgen. People can't drive in Dallas. Speaking of, there's some rude people in downtown Dallas. I was trying to figure out where to go in my maps, and this guy started walking across the street, and so I'd stopped, you know, I was gonna let him walk, even though I had a green light. And he was just like looking at me. I swear he was cussing at me. And uh, just talking a bunch of smack. And um, I told him, I was like, I wasn't going to run you over, man. He was like, you should have went. You should have went. And uh, then I guess he got in his car. And I was stuck behind this truck who decided that they were going to try and park. And they put on their, their hazards. And he peeled out on the other side and was just mean mugging me, man. He was just... Some people, they just need Jesus. Straight up. So, I'm about to get off this so I can focus on driving. And I will be back on when I get home. Woohoo! Alright guys, I forgot to do this yesterday when I got home because uh, my hands were tied up. I had leftover dishes and my foam roller. And then, yeah, I just didn't have uh, enough hands to record. But I wanted to show you guys the warm welcome that I get when I come home every day from work. Uh, it's really kind of cool, honestly. Uh, most of the time, uh, I'm definitely swarmed by all the boys. Oren, 100%, he runs up and latches onto my leg and is like, Daddy! And then I get a warm uh, welcome from Heather, a big hug and a kiss. But uh, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys that and hopefully it goes well because it would be ironic if everybody ignored me when I came in. Because sometimes it's like delayed. Like I'll come in, Orin will see me, he'll be on the iPad, kind of look back down, look up. Daddy! So it's kind of funny. We'll see. We'll see what I can capture. All right, here we go. gotta be one of the boys because it's taking forever. Daddy! Oh! <laughs> hey, but uh, what are you doing? Daddy! Daddy! Oh. Hey, bud. Hi, baby. Mm. Mm. You look handsome. Thank you. I always miss what you're wearing in the morning. Hey, dude. <gasps> Who's that? Ah. Hey, baby. So yeah, I was right. <laughs> Sometimes I get ignored. Not by Heather, but Oren did exactly what I said, right? I'm not going to ignore you. Ah! Who is that? Daddy! Oh. Hey, bud. Daddy! Daddy! When I go bigger, I will play basketball with this eye! Yeah. Me. What? I don't want you to go. I know. Oh. I don't want you to go. Well, what are we going to do if I stay? Uh, when you're done. Uh, play with Jason. Oh, okay. You mean you're just gonna kiss him over and over again? No. I'm gonna do it again. Okay. That's the thing, you can't throw them once, because if you throw one of them once, then the other ones wanna go. Mama. You get two points if I get it on your head, but if you block my 
my attempt, then I'm negative two, okay? You can't do that. Oh, I'm negative two. <laughs> come here, you gotta come closer. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Nice, Tickler. All right, I'm at zero now. Two? I got a <laughs> mantis. Does it count if I go orange oh, or whoever you are? Yeah. Orange. Whoever you are, orange Jameson. <laughs> Jameson. <laughs> does it count for you, right? Oh, it does. You want to play? Yeah. Me. Oh, it's hard, it's hard doing a no look.